In order to understand foreign exchange rates, we need to first understand spot exchange rates. So let's define that. A spot exchange rate is the current price in the market to trade one currency for another. And an example of this would be if I wanted to immediately trade 95 yen for $1 in USD. So we're just going out in the market, trading one currency for another as fast as we possibly can. That is the spot exchange rate. So we just talked about in the spot exchange rate market, if I need to trade one currency for another immediately. But what if my needs are different? What if I know that in one year from now, I'm going to want to trade a certain currency for a different currency? Then we would use a currency forward contract. Now let's define that. This is a contract in the foreign exchange market that locks in the price for the purchase or sale of a currency on a future date. So an example of this would be, let's say one year from today, I need to trade yen for US dollar. Well, I would go out and look at what are the forward prices in the market of yen for dollar and find that I can lock in or sign a contract that allows me to trade 100 yen for $1 one year from today. Now let's discuss how you can convert the spot rate to the forward rate or the forward rate to the spot rate. So to do this, we're just going to need one simple formula and this formula relies on what is known as interest rate parity. So this formula works like this. So you have the forward rate divided by the spot rate has to equal one plus the interest rate of the price currency divided by one plus the interest rate of the base currency. Now let's talk about what the price currency and the base currency is. So if we have a quote right here of 140 US dollar per euro, then our price currency is the US dollar and our base currency is the euro, right? So we're given the price in dollars for the base of one euro. All right, now let's work this formula once in an example. So we said that we had in the spot rate, so in, in today's prices, it's $1.40 US dollar per one euro, with our US dollar being our price currency and the euro being our base currency. Let's say hypothetically that the interest rate on the US dollar is 10% and the interest rate in the euro is 5%. Now let's work this formula to determine what would the actual forward rate be based on interest rate parity. So we're gonna have to start off with um, our one plus our price currency's interest rate, which is our US dollar. So that's one plus 10%, which is just 1.1 divided by one plus our base currency's interest rate, which is the euro interest rate of 5%. And then you can see how in this formula, we have the spot rate or the forward rate divided by the spot rate. So we're gonna have to multiply both sides by the spot rate. And when we multiply the left side by the spot rate, it just gets canceled out and we're left with only the forward rate. And then the other side is multiplied by the spot rate which is $1.40, so 140. When we solve this whole equation, we're given that the forward rate is $1.47, let me put a little dollar sign in here, $1.47 per one euro. So that is how you solve for a forward rate based on the spot rate using interest rate parity. And the reason why this formula and in interest rate parity makes sense is that if it didn't, you would be able to end up with more money by just investing in the currency with a higher interest rate, okay? So when one currency yields more than another currency in interest rate, the put call or the interest rate parity basically makes it so that if I buy that currency with a plan to sell it in the future to earn that interest rate, I'm actually going to be holding the currency that's depreciating in value, right? The one that has the higher interest rate is actually going to be worth less than the one with the lower interest rate when you want to exchange it in the future. And that's why we started off with 140 US dollar per euro, but in a year from now, we could only get um, or we would have to trade $1.47 to get one euro, and that is the parity.